we did some calculations and recently recently within the past month yep we realized that we were spending between six and seven hundred dollars a month on food way too much Fam, welcome back to Life with Jay and Joe. This is Jay. I'm Joe, and today we are going to discuss how we went from pretty much no food restrictions to becoming vegan for about three years, yes, two years, then to pescatarian for about four or five years, yes, to now we're back to eating meat. We're here, uh, but we do not eat beef or pork, correct. <laughs> so, it's, it's a lot to talk about. Yes. So, let's also talk about what we're eating today, because this is Chat and Chew, I think episode three. Yes, it is. So, since we are eating meat, <laughs> we have a lot of fried chicken, because I love fried food. That's probably why my belly is getting so big. So, we have um, some fried chicken and some french fries. I fried the chicken with, there are some with just a dry batter, and there are some with a wet and dry batter. For the sauces, I made Joe a spicy sauce right here, which is a bunch of spicy shit concocted. Here is just a blue cheese sauce with a little bit of Crystal's hot sauce. And this is a um, aioli. truffle aioli. And I'm drinking water today because we ran out of soda. For beverages, I have a nice vodka and tonic. And then I have a Czech ginger ale just when I get thirsty and the vodka and tonic ain't going to do. And I'm just going to put a little sanitizer on my hand. I already sanitized. Because I am afraid of germs, if nobody knows. So, <laughs> you want to start on why we decided to become vegan? Well, um... Oh. Um... I know you guys are probably tired of seeing me with a hat on, but I haven't cut my hair because I cut my hair and I cut Jay's hair. But I'm letting it grow back and it looks a mess. And I'm not cutting it maybe until like next week. So hopefully soon you'll see my actual hair. Yes, I don't have a haircut either, as you can see right there. So I have a hat on. But um, I think that, well, for me, I just wanted to... Initially, it, us going vegan was just like... Oh, let's see if we can do it. Yeah, and it was also supposed to be like for health. Like, it was supposed to be like, oh, we have better health or something. Not like, for me. For me, it was just, I just wanted to see if I can do it. For you, it was probably a health thing, but not for me. Yeah, because back then I was really, really into the gym a lot. Trying to, <clears throat> trying to get back there. But um, I was reading that like being vegan is supposed to be very healthy. I know. A lot of people do it because of the animals and, you know, don't, you know, eat the animals kind of thing. I'm sorry to admit that that was not one of my reasons. It was clearly because I felt like I would be, I would be more healthy. What kind of doctor feel bullshit is that? Look at the skin. I miss this. <laughs> so we did that for about two or three years. But the reason why we switched from vegan to pescatarian was because I like we were having like issues, like health issues. Not like anything serious, but I felt like I was missing something. Like I just wasn't feeling the same way I felt before. And I can't really fully describe it, but I just know something was off. Like something wasn't right. And I just felt like I needed some kind of meat. And, and I lost way too much weight. I became like hella skinny and I didn't like that. Yeah, I think for me, um, <clears throat> I had started, like, I was just feeling really, really weird. And I ended up going to my primary primary care physician. And they told me that I, I was, like, lacking, like, iron. And, like, I was, like, lacking a whole bunch of vitamins. So I was like, you know what? This vegan stuff is cute, but mm -mm. we need some, some kind of protein. And so we decided to incorporate 
seafood. Yeah. And also, keep in mind, <coughs> being a vegan is hella pricey. For some reason, living in the United States, to be healthy costs a whole lot of money. But to not be healthy, or what people consider, I guess, healthy, is cheap. Hella cheap. So, we end up trying the pescatarian route, which is basically, you can eat seafood, and I think like dairy, because we weren't eating dairy too. Right. So we started back eating dairy, and we started back eating seafood. Look at this skin. Just gonna just, just let him want to hear the crunch. Dip it in there. <laughs> How's that sauce? Is it spicy? Oh, sure. hmm? Is it spicy? It's not too spicy. You put Tabasco in it. I have a high tolerance for spice. Mine is low. I don't like spice. So, uh, so yeah, being anything healthy is hella, hella, hella pricey. So then we said, okay, we'll do seafood. We did that for about four or five years. And that was fine. I think I started feeling better. But I still ended up going to my doctor, started maybe about two years ago or a year, year and a half ago. That's my dog growling in the back, well, our dog growling in the background. I'm about to tell her to shut up. Um, so we start, and I start, I went to my, stop it. I went to uh, my primary doctor as well, because at one point I just started feeling like really, really tired, and I really couldn't understand why. Like I was tired and I wasn't even doing anything. I would like be just throughout the day, I would just get extremely tired. And so I found out that my iron was actually pretty low, extremely low. And, but even with that, I still was like, you know, I'm going to stick with the whole pescatarian thing because in my head, it meant that I would be more healthy. Keep in mind, I actually gained way more weight once we went pescatarian than I had ever been before we started doing it. But I think all, a lot of that had to do with me being lazy and wasn't working out. Same. But basically, being pescatarian wasn't as healthy as I thought it would be because I was still eating Oreos because, you know, it wasn't meat and I was eating a bunch of cereal, a bunch of processed food. So I definitely wasn't doing it the best way. One of the reasons that we decided to go back to meat is I'll let Jay talk about that. So I don't know if you guys know, which I'm sure that you do. But seafood is expensive as hell. And I personally don't like tilapia, so I don't buy tilapia. I mean, I will I only eat tilapia, I will only eat tilapia if it's fried. But you can't be eating fried food every day, all day. So I could. Well, I can't. So we ended up, you know, our go-to was salmon and shrimp. I mean, you can get a slice, a filet of salmon from Walmart for like $25. And that's going to Walmart, keep in mind, which is probably not the best place to get a piece of salmon. No, but that's good if you are by yourself or just one or two people. But see, it's two of us. But unfortunately, I have a husband that likes to eat. I love to eat. Food is my happy place. I literally get I literally get happy when I see food. And I'm not even exaggerating. He really not. So whereas where a fillet of salmon can last some people a week, it will only last us like a day or two, two days at the most. So you saying it will last some people a week, but it lasts us a day or two? Yeah. Now I think you're pulling it. Not y'all. You want to you want to do this with me? <clears throat> I don't think it will last anybody a week. That's what my point. One person, yes, it would. Two people, sometimes it depends on how much they eat. I do eat a lot, but I don't personally think a full, for you call it fillet, a salmon will last a week for anybody. If you cut us a fillet of salmon up in slices. 
four ounce slices, two ounce slices, that could be like a lot of food. When I cut filet of salmon up, it's not like a thin slice. I have my hand there and I measure it by the, the width of my hand and I cut it like that. Okay. Trust me. If you say so. I do. I agree to disagree. Well, I don't think your disagreeing is valid because I did the grocery shopping and I did the cooking. That's true. Now taste them. Always remember to taste and just use your fingers. Don't be sort of itsy bitsy about things. All right. <clears throat> so what we also noticed is like a month ago, since everything basically went up since the pandemic, right? So before the pandemic, I feel like everything was like regularly priced. Since the pandemic, everything went up. And I have my feelings about that, about why it went up. I feel like the government was like, this is my own opinion. I'm not saying this facts. So I guess I should say allegedly. Um, I feel like the government was like, we gave it all this money to all these people. We need it back. And the, they, um, the um, stimulus check? Yeah, the stimulus check, the un unemployment checks. They was giving out a whole bunch of money. The 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 loan thing for like the the PPP loan the PPP loan things it was a lot of money given out right so I personally feel like the government was like we gave it all this money we need to give it back let's just raise up everything and then on top of that when stuff started raising that mean that companies and stuff had to raise their prices and it just trickled down and then now we're where we are so we did some calculations and recently recently within the past month. Yep. We realized that we were spending between six and seven hundred dollars a month on food. Way too much. And keep in mind, it's only two of us. And this is not even counting like us going out places to eat. This is just like groceries for the house. And once we realized that, we had some soul searching to do because we had to dig deep down in our souls and was like, yeah. this ain't working. It definitely wasn't working because at this point, we're not healthier. I mean, I'm not. Um, I actually weigh more now than I did before. Um, and I think what we started doing it for completely got lost because we weren't really being healthy with it anyway. Not completely unhealthy, but not the most healthy. And so we're just spending out all this money, all this money, trying to buy fish because fish is so overpriced that it just made no sense. And then we had some conversations and we're trying to save money and we can't personally afford to be pescatarian or vegan. I think that it's, it's not something you ever really get over, you know? Because it's too much money. Way too much money, too much money. I mean, not only the money part, but like trying to come up with like different recipes, different things to cook. Like that is not easy. It's not for the faint. And I and 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 I know that there there are recipes out there that we can use. I know that there are things out there that we can use and utilize. But how many times a week can you eat baked fish, or how many times a week can you eat? black and salmon or something like that you got to get creative and it's not easy to be creative with the same thing over and over and over again yeah and then just to give you like an example of how much it costs All right so a piece of salmon which is our go-to a big it. piece of salmon would probably last like you said like two days right that's like twenty dollars 25. 25. And if we go to the meat, like go to like a place that has like better pieces of salmon, it's going to be a little bit more. Because when we get it from Walmart, there is a difference in the taste. Yeah. But Walmart was the cheapest place to get it. Um. So that's like 
twenty dollars. Let's say just say twenty five dollars. Two days. If we got salmon three times throughout the week, that's like seventy five bucks right there just for fish. That's not counting anything else to go with the fish. No sides. No sides. No seasoning. No oil. Right. No nothing to cook it with. Nothing to eat it with. Nothing to to pair it with. Now, like, there was a lot. Compare that to all of this chicken we're eating right now. The chicken that we've already ate, the ones that we haven't even touched yet, which I'm pretty sure we're not going to finish it. Like, how much did you pay for all of this chicken? Because this was a bag, right? Mm hmm. So it was a bag of chicken, all flats, by the way. It was a bag of chicken that that I was out of that one bag. I was able to cook curry chicken. Oh, this is the same bag. This is the same bag. Okay. Curry chicken, this fried chicken, and I also made fried chicken before out of the one bag of chicken. And each time it was thirty pieces of chicken. So that's what ninety pieces of wings, a wingettes, and the entire bag was fifteen dollars. So, do the we've had this chicken has lasted a long time because we never were able to buy fish and put leftover fish in the freezer to cook later. It was always cooked, everything cooked that at that point. Which you can cook leftover fish, but it it definitely changes things. Well, also it just wouldn't have been enough if we would have waited to clear it. Sure. Um, So now, I feel like we're going to be able to save money because now I think that six to seven hundred dollars that we've been spending on food would definitely cut in half, and maybe way less than half. I agree. Because if you think about it, why should two people be spending that much money on food for like groceries when there are entire families? That's probably spend three hundred and something dollars to feed an entire family for an entire month, and I know this because um, I told to my mom and my sister, and I did it when when we ate everything. So yeah, so we're um, when you start seeing us on the channel eating chicken, like now, <laughs> that is why we were. Vegan, then we were pescatarian, and now we're trying to survive because we can't survive being pescatarian. Because shit is expensive. <laughs> Let's just call a spade a spade. Shit is expensive. Very expensive. And surprisingly, when we, well, for me, when we transitioned um, back to eating meat, surprisingly, we didn't like. I felt a little bit of discomfort. Yeah. I was expecting to like, you know, get really sick. Cause keep in mind that we had not eaten meat, any type of meat for like six years. And we're not counting fish cause some people consider fish meat. Some but most do. of the time when people say meat, they're talking about non- Seafood. Seafood. Chicken, beef, pork. Yeah. Oh yeah, so the first time he cooked it, I personally asked for fried food. Yes, that is, that is my go-to. As I said, I'm not the most healthy. And I know he missed fried chicken. He never wanted to admit it, but I know he did. I mean, I, truthfully, when we stopped eating it at first, for like the first few months, like it would really, if I smelled chicken, it would drive me crazy. But after a certain amount of time, like it didn't even phase me. Like I would be at parties, people would be eating chicken. I will. Be at people's house, they will be cooking chicken, and I just never had the urge. Yeah. Because I just hadn't had it in so long. But now that we've started back, I'm literally craving chicken all the time. Mm hmm. So, the moral of this story is <laughs> eating healthy is expensive. Right. Eating unhealthy is cheap. <laughs> right. That, that's really the moral of the story. And 
for me, that's really the moral of the story. But truthfully, I don't even know if chicken is really unhealthy. So I wouldn't even say it's unhealthy. I mean, I don't know, but is fish supposed to be more healthy? Because it's definitely more priced. I think what makes chicken unhealthy is the way it's prepared. Of course, fried chicken is not the healthiest. But you can fry a fish. You can fry fish, and that, and that is the same. Like, the same applies. I just want to remind y'all that I said that Joe eats a lot. So let me show y'all his plate. <laughs> <laughs> this is his plate. This is my plate. You see the difference? But go ahead. But yes, thank you guys so much for tuning in um, to another episode of Chat and Chew with Life with Jay and Joe. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to also like, subscribe, and share. And anything you want to say? Love you guys. Love you guys. Mean it. And we'll catch you guys. I'll call you later. Peace out. Can you hit the thing? What thing? The button. Hey family, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you go ahead and click the left or the right to watch some of our older videos. Can't wait to see you again. Love you fam. Mean it.